You are about to hear a radio play recorded in special binaural digital database using trained actors in a unique anechoic chamber hidden deep in the Swiss Alps. This play rips the lid off many modern preconceptions about the conspiracy between the International Communist Party, the International House of Pancakes, and the Vatican. It's almost half an hour long, so it's going to take some attention. You do have an attention span that long, don't you? Back to the drawing board. No doubt it beats what I've found by a country mile. But we don't have a compact disc player, Rodney. You know that. Probably some sort of tax write-off. It did. Long before the advent of the compact disc player. I wonder what's on these things. Don't worry, Rodney. We can construct a makeshift compact disc player out of this centrifuge here and this laser. We simply have to have the reflected beam signaled onto the audio amplifier right over the... There. Now let's see what secrets this mystery disc holds. We'd like to use the giant radial sphincter They have a crude imitation in the Soviet Union, but it's twice as big and works half as well. It's our right as citizens. Call me doctor. Is this normal operating procedure? Some way to make whoopee. I thought Dr. Fry told you to put your clothes back on, Denny. I am happy. Thank you, brothers. I can't stomach this garbage. It looks like we're just down the block from a major recording studio. Good. D-sharp was the right note after all. Hurry, Julie. We've got to get inside that studio and record a subliminal compact disc that'll capture the fancy of America. What we've been through, it'll be child's play. Excuse me. I need this facility in the name of national security. For Thanks. someone who cares. Out! And how did that make you feel, Rodney? Of course I do. A scientist is only interested in the truth. And, well, you should should have, Rodney. Remember, feelings are not fact. They're as changeable as the wind, as mixed as mud, and ultimately as useless as cheap shoes. Sure you do. All humans have it. Relax, Rodney. It's normal. Oh, Dr. Freiberg, what brings you here? Too bad they didn't give us credit for saving the world from the sea monkeys. Hm. Uh, depends on the project. I'm sorry, Julie, but I couldn't. I'm already married. Yes, science is my bride. And the children she bore me are named Hope. Oh, progress. And that nagging feeling. No, Julie, I've tried to include others in my life. Believe me, it just doesn't work. I'm not an easy man to live with. Ask any of my ex. Goodbye, Julie. Cool. Not much, really. The world continued on, just as it always has, with a few minor exceptions. Have you ever heard of a sea monkey? 